Wine TV. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another edition of the show. So uh, another uh, another wine uh, that I got from uh, the Creative Palette people. This time it was from Jane uh, Kettlewell. So thank you Jane for sending me this. Um, actually this is the second time I've reviewed this particular wine. Uh, I reviewed the uh, 2015 last year in last June. Um, so I'm excited to try this again. Um, I did not look at the review again to see how I exactly rated it or, or reviewed it, but I, I don't remember hating it. Let's put it that way. Um, so, um, yeah, so this is the 2016 uh, Michel Chapoutier uh, Bila, Ho, P, Bila O, Hot, H A U T, um, Rose, uh, Les Vignes Rose, um, is the, from the Pays Doc area, which is in the, uh, the Languedoc uh, area called the Côte de Roussillon. Um, well, that's where the estate is. That's where the estate is uh, located. Uh, I'll kind of read this real quick. The House of Bila, the translation of the name of the estate was once, um, once a house of refuge for the Knights Templar, which is why their cross is symbolically used on the label. And uh, in the hills of the I'm going to say it's Ailey, A-G-L-Y. I don't think it's Agley. Uh, the Ailey Valley, 40-plus-year-old vines are carefully and meticulously managed by an experienced team of their culturalists uh, where they use sustainable farming, low yields uh, for high-quality fruit. Um, let's see, what else? So uh, it is uh, a blend of 78% Grenache, 14% Cinso, and um, uh, 8% Syrah. Also, um, as usual, the Chapoutier labels have Braille on them. I always like to point that out because I've never seen it anywhere else. Um, and I forgot the story as to why he, uh, he wants Braille on there, but there is a backstory to it. Um, I just don't remember what it is. Um, but I just think it's kind of cool that uh, his wines have that on there. Um, so... Uh, they say that the grapes are uh, uh, vinified at low, even temperatures. Uh, it is fermented in stainless steel tanks um, and aged in those tanks. So a seasonal oak. Uh, after a short maceration on the skins, um, the delicate pink hue is attained and the wine is racked and vinified. Uh, then they blend it prior to bottling. All right. So, got a little... Little bubbles in there from the Coravin. That's normal. So you know, very much a salmon color, uh, light, very light pink. Um, looking at the episode from last year, the um, for the still, and looking at this, they look to be about the same color. Um, so, whoops, there we go. Anyway, um, yeah, kind of a salmony type of color. I can already smell the wine has that kind of watermelon. Uh, strawberry aromas already coming, wafting out of the glass. So let's uh, let's stick our nose in it, or my nose at least. So yeah, just what I just said. Uh, more strawberry than watermelon. Um, definitely a moderately intense uh, nose. I also got a little bit of um, earthiness out of it for just a, just a touch, just a hair. Yeah, it was fleeting though, but mostly that, a um, little bit of uh, rose petal. And kind of, um, uh, I want to say almost a little bruised apple on that. Like apple skin, really. 
really nice. I forgot to say it's uh, suggested retail price of $15. So um, on the palate, uh, definitely a dry wine. Um, I got that watermelon candy more uh, rather than the strawberries, but um, you know I, I like that out of these types of rosés. Um, but definitely a dry wine, um, a touch of phenolic bitterness to it. Um, so there's a little bit of like, you know, again, maybe that apple skin uh, coming through, not quite a sour green apple, but like, you know, a tart red apple skin. Maybe maybe the apple skin has been left out a little too long, it's oxidized a little bit. Um, so, um, but yeah, definitely, definitely a little uh, grip uh, on the palate there. Um, yeah, still really got the uh, watermelon, that watermelon candy. A bit of chalkiness to a little minerality like wet rock and all that really refreshing i really like this wine um i mean i really like this wine uh, i can't wait to give it a little chill to it uh and sip on this on another day off when i don't have to go anywhere uh, maybe i'm going to be studying some wine um ideally i'd be studying french wine but my syllabus won't take me to france until sometime uh in the first or second yeah the near the end of the first quarter of next year so um, I don't want to wait till then to drink it. So, um, but yeah, um, I really like this wine, especially for 15 bucks. I mean, great summer wine. Um, I mean, it's refreshing for the summer. But thing is, we always want to talk about rosé as a great summer wine. And we always forget that rosé is great really all times, all, all, all year round, especially for a lighter fare. If you're going to have seafood, um, it's a great seafood wine. Um, if you're gonna have like chicken, um, it's a great chicken wine. Uh, salads, great for salads. So yeah, awesome wine. I like it. Uh, I like it a lot. All right, so um, that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, as always, uh, thank you for stopping by. Click the links above to friend me up. Hit the donate button over there. Send me some ducats. Send me to Burgundy. Um, I'm going anyway. You're not sending me there. Um, maybe I can buy a maybe I can buy a croissant over there. Um, I mean, I'm probably gonna be flying in out of Lyon. I mean, kind of a you know, kind of a food capital of the world. Though I'm not gonna really be in Lyon very much. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, going over there uh, in the fall. At least I'm planning on it. There's no reason for me not to go, but planning on it. Um, and then, of course, the links below to uh, find out more about uh, this fine uh, chateau um, out there, the fine winery out there in France. I, I, I've always been pleased with their products, uh, whether I've been sampled on it or I've bought it for myself. Uh, I've always been pleased with, with the, uh, the Chaputier uh, line of wines. Uh, and that's going to do it. Again, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see everyone again next time. Thank you.